Hello, my name is Shauna Arnold and I am from Saskatchewan, Canada. I am very happy to have been invited to this Marian Summit to share on the Blessed Mother Mary. Mary is the Mother of God as well she is our spiritual mother. Many Catholic saints had a deep devotion to Mary and I'd like to share a few quotes from some of the saints. I'll start with a quote from St. Therese of Lisieux. What a joy to remember that she is our mother, since she loves us and knows our weakness. What have we to fear? And a quote from St. Louis Marie de Montfort. We never give more honor to Jesus than when we honor his mother and we honor her simply and solely to honor him all the more perfectly. Another quotation is from Mother Teresa. If you ever feel distressed during your day, call upon Our Lady. Just say this simple prayer, Mary, Mother of Jesus, please be a mother to me now. I must admit, this prayer has never failed me. And lastly, a quote from St. John Vianney. If you invoke the Blessed Virgin when you are tempted, she will come at once to your help and Satan will leave you. All the saints had a love for Mary and their writings portrayed that. At the foot of the cross, where Jesus was crucified in his agony. He spoke these words to John. This scripture is taken from the Bible in John 19, 26 to 27. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, woman, behold your son. Then he said to his disciple, behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. This scripture states that Mother Mary became our mother at that very moment. We are the Blessed Mother's children and she loves us all deeply. There was a time in my life where I had a very hard time praying to Mary. I grew up with a very dysfunctional mother and I was never given the proper care and guidance growing up. I was basically able to do what I wanted and no one paid attention to me. I never felt loved by my biological mother. So how was I to believe or accept that Mother Mary loved me? Sadly, my image of a mother was distorted and I felt the only person who could protect me was myself as everyone else in my life had let me down. Eventually, there was a point in my life where I hit the bottom of the barrel. It is at this time where through prayer, I apologized to Mother Mary for not believing and trusting that she was actually my spiritual mother. At this time, I invited her into my heart and I made a commitment to pray the rosary daily. I'm gonna backtrack and tell you a bit more about my past. I never had a proper foundation growing up and my parents never gave me the love and support that a developing child requires. I led a life of sin and I made a lot of poor choices as a young adult. My mother was addicted to prescription pills and died from an overdose at the age of 43. My father was a workaholic who was never around much and to this day does not have a relationship with my family and I. The sins I committed, which stemmed from the problems of my childhood, had held me in bondage. I had very serious problems back then, and painful things were happening in my life that were quite disturbing. My sins had me in shackles, and I felt like I was destined to repeat the same patterns that I learned from my parents. 
I had met a wise priest who guided me back to God. Through confessions of my sins, I began to be set free. As disturbances kept popping up in my life, he directed me to call on Mother Mary for her intercession at these times. He advised me to call upon Mary and ask her to cover me in the mantle of protection. I want you to know that Mary answers our prayers and protects us from all evil. Through her intercession, my life was redirected and I started healing from the problems of my past. Mary's intercession is powerful and I'd like to share a quote from Pope Francis. Where the Madonna is at home, the devil does not enter. Where there is the mother, disturbance does not prevail. Fear does not win. It is through Mary's humility and her yes to God that she triumphed over evil. We too can triumph over our trials and struggles through the intercession of Mary and through Jesus who died on the cross for us. I'm going to conclude my talk with a prayer. Remember, O oh most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implied thy help, or sought thine intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O oh virgins of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand sinful and sorrowful. O oh mother of the word incarnate, despise not my petition, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen.